All right, Shalom, another GMS on the go, back with another lesson, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible, peace, blessings, and safety. To all you sincere items, keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith, keep doing what you're doing. Keep preaching that Bible, week in and week out, to the best of your ability, because that's the only thing that we're doing. Look, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Look, we're using a spiritual weapon. Once again, Esau, the so-called white man, he ain't worried about two-thirds. I did not know what I'm saying, running around with pistols, guns, and all the other nonsense. No. The men that he's most definitely scared and afraid of are the men of the Lord that's keeping it spiritual. He doesn't see Esau as a carnal man. So he's going to come at you on a carnal level. See, the men of the Lord, we're spiritual men. So we're going to attack the enemy with a spiritual weapon, which are the words of the Bible. And that's what's got this man fed up. And that's what's got him not sleeping right at night. The words of the Bible, right? That's what it is, right? 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons... Listen, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Our only weapon is the words of the Bible, and they know that. This devil know that. This devil has been revealed of who they are according to the Bible. And now, only thing he can do is resort being carnal, man. His only resort is to come at us carnal and make up all these lies and this propaganda Look, just a spiritual man uses a spiritual weapon, man. Okay? You, we, you didn't think the Bible was a weapon, but now you're starting to see it was. They don't fear, you know what I'm saying, two-thirds out there on the corners, man. Southern drugs with, with big Dracos and PK-7s and all that on them. No. They fear the men is coming with a spiritual weapon. We, look, we're, we're destroying Esau, the so-called white man, with a spiritual weapon. Revealing exactly who he is. So that's why he's coming against the true men of the Lord. Because what, what it say once again? 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. And now he's trying to come up with this propaganda, this slander campaign. Talking about the Hebrew Israelites are, are considered more dangerous than the Ku Klux Klan. Are you, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Look at, look at all your so-called white supremacy groups, man. They have been destroying the whole earth and everything in it for hundreds of years. Oh, yeah. But look, we ain't going to make no mention of that, though, right? All right. The weapons of all warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the power of Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shai to the pulling down of strongholds. And that's what we're doing. We're pulling down these strongholds, a.k.a. these lies. This being promoted throughout the four corners of the earth, mainly here in America, we're using this Bible to do it with. We're using this spiritual weapon to pull down these strongholds like, like the God of the Bible being a so-called white man. That's a lie, man. That, that has a stronghold on upon our people. Right? Who the Israelites are, who the Jews are, according to the Bible. Look, look we're pulling down all those strongholds, man. All right? We're pulling them down. Casting down, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of the most high. And that's, and you know that goes for you. You know that's all day, every day, these so-called white people, man. They act like they did the power of the heavens and the earth, man. They act like they is God. They painted the image of them being God. But now we come out with this weapon, this spiritual weapon, aka this Bible. And then this man is steaming mad. But look, though, I thought sticks and stones might break your bones, but words will never hurt you. Whatever happened to that? Yeah, these other books don't hurt you, but the words of the Bible? See, because that's the only thing we're coming with, with is words, and it's destroying this devil, man. We're not carnal men, right? Look, 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 we're, we're spiritual men coming with a spiritual weapon, right? And I want to get that word for carnal. Let's get it in the Greek. We're going to get it in the Greek. Strong's G, 4559. Sarkikas. 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 That's the Greek word for carnal, right? 
and it reads fleshly. The men of the Lord are not fleshly. We don't come to camp with weapons, with guns and all that. No. The true men of the Lord, what, what, look, what the um, Lord Yahweh shall tell the apostle Peter? Put up thy sword. Put up thy weapon. He that live by the sword shall die by the sword, right? There ain't no incidents of, of the, the men of the Lord, you know what I'm saying? Shooting nobody down or none of that other nonsense. No. And plus, they said they've been watching us for years. I know some cops came up to us, you know what I'm saying? Um, probably like last year or the year before that. And they said they had been watching us for years. So they already know we out there doing. They know we just out there teaching the words of the Bible. But then this so called white man coming with his slander, you know what I'm saying? Campaign and his propaganda. But look, it, look, it ain't gonna work. Two thirds are gonna believe every simple word, and these other heathens are gonna believe every simple word. But the true elect of the nation of Israel ain't gonna fall for that nonsense. Why? Because we're not ignorant of Satan's devices, man. All right? Fleshly, carnal, having the nature of flesh, right? That's why the scriptures say, "Pray, man. Constantly pray. Cause the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak." The men of the Lord are not fleshly men. We're spiritual men. Okay? So most definitely, the only weapon we come with, once again, is the words of the Bible. And that's what's destroying this so-called white man. That he's being exposed, man. He's being exposed. Let's get this, let's get this Hebrews right quick. This devil being exposed on all levels. The history, bring our history and everything, man. We the true people of the Bible. And this devil can't stand it. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. For the word. What we do week in and week out. Throughout the week. Preach the words of the Bible. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12. For the word of the Most High. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Who you ignorantly call God of Jesus Christ. Right? It's quick. And powerful. And sharper than any two-edged sword. The words of the Bible is, is a weapon man. It says this word is more powerful than any two-edged sword. That's why they ain't really thinking about the Jakes, you know what I'm saying? The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Americans on them corners. Because if they was really all about getting the drugs off the streets and getting the guns off the streets, don't you think it would be off, off the streets already? This word is exposing this devil, man. And they gotta come once again with carnal. This devil is carnal. Ain't nothing, ain't never been nothing ever spiritual about him. He ain't never been a spiritual man, right? For the word of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, is quick and powerful and sharper than any two edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit. And this devil ain't sleeping right at night. Ever since the Hebrew Israelites came on the internet, you know, and, and and before that, but mainly on the internet, this devil ain't been getting no sleep. They changed YouTube up, man. They changed the guidelines and how they the whole platform. When the man of the Lord start putting, it, we've been flooding this internet with truth too, according to the Bible. They changed up the whole format of YouTube. You know, and then they don't want our kids, no saying, learning the truth either. That's why they put our age restriction on the videos. They don't want our people to learn who they are according to the Bible. See, our people coming back to righteousness, that's what this devil's biggest fear is. You know, us not keeping his ways, you know, that's what this devil fears, man. He fears a Hebrew Israelite man, woman, and child coming back to their heritage, you know, and condemning his wicked ass. That's what they fear, man. This word pierces through the soul, man. Piercing even to the dividing of sunder of soul and spirit. And of the joints and marrows. This word cuts deep, man. Cuts that spirit. These devils ain't been sleeping right at night, man. So their only tactic is to come at us on a carnal level, man. And make up all these phony allegations. That's, that's the MO of this devil. This is still kill, destroy, and lie his ass off, man. That's all you devils ever did, man. You deceivers. That's all y'all ever been known for. But you own the TV. You know what I'm saying? You, you promote your witchcraft. And everybody's falling for that nonsense. But at the same time, the God of the Bible is revealing all your wickedness, man. Okay? And you can't hide it, man. 
and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of thoughts and intents of the heart, meaning that mind. The, the scriptures discern what, what you think in devil, you know? You going down soon, come devil. Our weapons are not carnal. Romans chapter 8, verse 6. For to be carnally minded is death, right? To be carnally minded, to be fleshly, leads to your death. But the scriptures tell us to keep it spiritual. The Lord said, wait ye upon me. Matter of fact, let's get that right quick. Let's get Zephaniah right quick. Let's get, this is what the God of the Bible told us to do. We followers of the Lord, man. And only, our only weapon is his word. And this is what's killing this devil. You know. This is Zephaniah chapter 3. Verse 8. This is what the Lord told us to do. Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 8. Therefore wait ye upon me. Said the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. But then this devil trying to paint us to be the, the terrorists and the bad guys. We ain't got no weapons, devil. You the ones with the weapons. That's your blessing, okay? That's your, that's your blessing. That's how we know who Esau is, man. Therefore, wait ye upon me. This is what the Lord told his servants, his people. Said the Lord, until the day that I rise up to the prey. So we're not attacking Edomites. We're not attacking these devils. If anything, we're attacking them with the scriptures, with this word. We're beating them up with this word. And that's what's killing them, man. You don't recover from being whipped down and beat down by this word. You don't recover from that, man. Until the day that I rise up to the prey. Who's the prey? You devils, man. For my determination is to gather the nations. See, the God of the Bible is coming back to gather the nations, right? I wonder for what, though, right? That I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them mine indignation. Yeah, we're telling these nations, starting off with the so-called white man, that he's going down soon, come according to the Bible. And the God of the Bible is going to set us up to rule the earth in righteousness, man. Okay? Because when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear fruit, the people mourn. That's what you see going on now. People are mourning. You know? Setting up all these different false flags. You have been revealed, devil. You deceiver. To pour upon them mine indignation. His righteous anger, right? Even all my fierce anger. For all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. Will it not know? Will it not people know that the God of the Bible ain't a so-called white man? Okay? He's a man of color, big giant beard, white woolly hair. And he's and he's coming back to destroy. And he don't love everybody. Well, you thought you thought that lie was gonna keep getting pushed throughout the four corners of the earth for all eternity? Come on, man. You thought you won't this devil thought he won't gonna never get exposed. Well, you have been exposed. To be the son of perdition, man. Everywhere you go, you destroy everything. That's how we know who you is, man. Destroy everything. Everything this devil touch, he destroy, man. Everything, everything. But oh yeah, we the worst people ever prayed on the face of the earth. You better look in the damn mirror. Look at yourself in the mirror. And we know you hate this, hate to look in the mirror at yourself, man. You devil. Psalm chapter 44, verse 6. For I will not trust in my bow. What's a bow? A weapon. We ain't trusting no, no, no weapon. We put our trust in the God of the Bible, man. That's our protection. The so-called white man, he need the weapon. He need the guns. He need the ammo. The rocket launchers, the, the grenades and all that other nonsense. We don't. We spiritual men. That was his blessing. Psalms 44 and 6. For I will not trust in my bow. Neither shall my sword. You know what I'm saying? What's the modern day sword or gun? Neither shall my sword save me. So we're not going to be saved by guns and different weapons and all that. No. Yahweh Bashim is going to come back and save us. Lord, when are we of that number, man? Okay? And, you get, and a carnal man can't stop nothing. The spiritual anyway. This devil is carnal, man. Okay? So we don't trust in our bow. We don't trust in no weapon, man. 
I'm going to show you what we trust in. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Trust in the Lord. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai with all thine heart. With all our mind, we trust in the Lord. Not no filthy, stinking weapon, man. You know? Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. And lean not into thine own understanding, man. So we ain't out there leaning into our own understanding. You know, we trusting in the God of the Bible. I look, our weapons are not carnal. Once again, our only weapon is the words of this Bible. And it's killing these people, man. Many of you devils. It's killing you. We know. We know. This is Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 14. Wherefore, thus saith the Lord, power of hosts, because ye speak this word, the same word that um, Hebrews said, 4 and 12, that is sharper than any double-edged sword. The words of the Bible is actually a weapon, man. And this is what we're using to, to, to cut this devil's spirit with, man. This devil can't sleep at night, man. That's why he's coming up with different legislation to get the men of the Lord off the street. Look, we ain't ignorant to that devil. We ain't ignorant to nothing y'all doing, man. Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 14. Wherefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahushua, power of hosts, because ye speak this word, behold, I will make my words in thy mouth fire. Look, look, we knew you couldn't ignore the words of Yahweh by Shem Yahushua forever. The scriptures told us sooner or later this devil gonna make his move. Because eventually this word was gonna start getting to him. You try to ignore the words of the Bible all these years, but you knew it was getting to you though, man. The whole world knows now who you are, devil. You're the Edomites according to the Bible. That's why you take down any video when anybody mentions that name, Esau. The Edomites, they won't done away with. There's no end to all the people of the earth. It tell you that in Ecclesiastes, man. There's no end to all the people on the earth. And this word is burning you up, man. Behold, I will make my words in thy mouth fire. And this people would. And it shall devour them. So now this word is straight up devouring these devils, man. And everybody's being exposed, man. Everybody. Everybody, 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 man. The Lord said, speak with my words. Only thing we're doing is speaking with the words, devil. You come up with all your life. Look, lies is but for a moment anyway. You know. Trying to use um, re reverse psychology, man. Nah, it won't work on the men of the Lord. Jeremiah chapter 23. Verse 29. Is not my word. The word, now, exactly what we're coming with, the word, right? Is not my word like as a fire? This word is Fire. And these devils are wood and it's consuming them, man. It's not my word like as a fire, said the Lord. But once again, whatever happened to that saying, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Devils are a lie. This devil started that nonsense. Yeah, yeah. It, it, them nonsense words, but the words of the Bible, it's sure enough hurt you. And you, you ain't, ain't going to recover from this one. You ain't gonna recover because your spirit is cut. Your spirit is wounded. Said the Lord, Yahweh Bashim shot, and like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces. You know? Hey, look, it's, it's a bit of a thing, man. Yahweh Bashim shot used us, man. Speaking the words to cut this devil to pieces, man. And we know you ain't sleeping right at night. We know it already. You ain't sleeping right at night. Our weapons are not carnal. Come with a spiritual weapon. This is the words of the Bible. That's what we that's what we destroying this devil with, man. And he knows it. Hosea chapter 6, verse 5. Therefore have I hewed. The word hew means to cut. Therefore have I hewed them by the prophets. I have slain them by the words. This word is what's killing them. I have slain them by the words of my mouth. Who's the mouthpiece of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son? The prophets, man. All right? I have slain them by the words of my mouth. And thy judgments are as the light that goeth forth. So what's killing these devils? This word, man. All right? And we the Hebrew Israelites, all right? 
Ain't nothing black about us, but look, you can you control the narrative. So of course, you know what I'm saying? Devil, you being exposed, devil. The God of the Bible is exposing you, devil, for who you truly are. The thief, the murderer, the robber, the liar, the scum of the earth. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Chapter 8, verse 6, for to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. So we're spiritual men. We're not carnal men. We're not grabbing a carnal weapon. We're spiritual men using a spiritual weapon, right? Romans chapter 8, verse 6, for to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is enmity against the Most High. For it is not subject to the law of Yahweh, neither indeed can be. So to be carnally minded, you make yourself an enemy of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. That's why we deal spiritually. We spiritual men using a spiritual weapon, right? We spiritual men using a spiritual weapon, man. The Lord is cutting this devil to pieces, just using just us using the word, man. The God of the Bible is cutting this devil, aka the so-called white man, to pieces. And the only thing we're doing is using the words of the Bible, man. That's it. And all your lies and all your tactics and all your slandering, your slandering campaign. Look, devil, it's only but for a moment. It ain't gonna last forever. The God of the Bible gonna take you down soon. Come. So get your lies on. Get whatever you got going on. Get it on. Cause soon come the guy of the Bible, you know what I'm saying? Look, look, he got something for you, man. Okay? The guy of the Bible got something for you, devil. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Shalom.